All right, thanks for staying with us. Many people try to avoid meeting people and networking altogether, but um, it is an activity that is crucial to get you from where you are to where you need to be. And it mostly um, comes down to one key thing, referrals. Now, 31% of job seekers find listing through professional connections, especially referrals. Networking is a, a mutually beneficial interaction that involves exchanging ideas and information between individuals who are connected by a common career, industry, or um, interest. And networking can open doors to new opportunities that might be out of reach um, otherwise. Now, so today we're asking, how can we start to build next level networks? That's the question. Now, please let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 81 803 You can also tweet at us at Wayshow Africa 1 with the hashtag Wayshow. I just want to quickly just point out now that um, we will not be here mm -hmm. if we did not, if I didn't leverage the power of networking. Because mm -hmm. I remember that it was just a mention. Yeah. I'd met my friend's younger brother and I was telling him, oh, I had this idea to do this, do this. I'd gone to like two or three different media houses at that point, but they were not giving, like they didn't have the capacity for what it was I wanted to do with Waze, mm -hmm. right? And I said, oh no, that he has someone, you know, that even though that initial connection did not work, he then now, he's friends with Elsie. Mm -hmm. So he then now booked, called up Elsie when Mr. K was still here and said, you know what, can you link up um, um, a friend of mine, she's coming to see your boss and she wants to pitch an idea if he likes the idea and all of that. And the rest, they say, is history. Even in selecting all the anchors, say you know, that the way the anchors also, the way all the anchors, organic. yes, it's yeah. so organic. It is one person comes to this person, oh, okay, you, I'm looking for a good lawyer, I'm looking for this, I'm looking because I had specifics, you know, and all of that. So it's actually um, something that if you really pay attention to, it's very mm -hmm. practical. But you see, now, there's one level of, okay, meeting, introduction, and all of that. Mm -hmm. I have seen networks that are really taking people to a whole new Absolutely. level. That's the one I want to learn today. <laughs> <laughs> so let me hear your thoughts, and I'll bring it our guest. Um, gosh, I think networking is so powerful. I can't say it enough. Um, I have a team of amazing young people that I mentor, and networking is always the first item on the agenda. Like, guys, you have to understand what it means. Start now. I wish that when I was in your shoes, somebody had told me how important networking was. Because when I look at my network today, I mean, it's grown very deliberately over maybe the last five, six years. But if I think about where I started, maybe some circa nearly, you know, 16 years ago, it would be huge right now, right? And it would be across the world. So the fact that in realizing a couple of key things for me around networking one everybody matters in your network you need to have a rolodex well people that are too young i don't know what rolodex are but you know you need to have like in your head because i've watched people build networks like i was saying earlier just from the power of being able to connect and solve problems and me i'm a problem solver but my own way of solving problems is I am the solution. Mm. But the fact is, when you think about the power that, oh, I know Uwa. Uwa is looking for this. And I know I am the connector. LC, and I connect them. Mm. Both of them will remember me, mm. right? It's such a powerful ability to be a connector. I mean, the most, the most awesome, amazing connector I know in this world is NASA. To see NASA work is yes, a thing so. of beauty. <laughs> like, literally, you call NASA, NASA, I need something. NASA will be like, hmm. And you know, she's yes. running through her head. And she's like, let me call this person and I'll get back to you, right? So the fact is, then realizing the second key thing that I learned, and I think that was what even sort of grew my network, was the fact that it's a, and I love that you said it, it's mutually beneficial. Hmm. People come into, you know how, like, Imagine an Ibukuma Woshika. Everybody wants to meet her. Everybody wants to meet her. But what are you bringing to her? You don't think you can bring something to her. But you must have something to bring. It doesn't matter what. So the fact that you realize that for you to build a strong network, you also have to build yourself because you have to have something to offer. Absolutely. So where's the value you're bringing to the Absolutely. table? Absolutely. On that note, Ayola <laughs> Jolayemi is a dynamic professional with 19 years experience in business development, project management, sales, and marketing communications. Now he has worked and led teams in various industries, including education, construction, IT, media, and entertainment. He is the managing director of Riverbank Technologies and Engineering Services Limited, um, the master franchise owner of CAD, that's Center Training Services Private Limited, 
um, the world's largest provider of engineering design training. Now, he has been involved in several groundbreaking projects within and outside Nigeria and has a passion for providing mentorship and direction for new and emerging businesses and um, impact-driven initiatives. As you can see, we are ready for him. <laughs> and he's a friend of the house. I, mu I must Absolutely. add that because he's been on ways, you know, several times. Now, thank you so much for joining us thank this evening. So and he's live with us in the studio. <laughs> Thank you. Thank I mean, you this so is much. an interesting conversation. Like, by the way, first of all, it's your first time on our new set. So, yeah, welcome. It's one, so <laughs> thank you. Thank you. We're, 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 we're progressing so much more. <laughs> but thank That's you so much for joining us. Yeah. I mean, um, when I was looking to find, you know, someone to discuss um, this conversation, I kept on racking my head. And thankfully, we bumped it into, into each, each other, other yeah. very recently. Yeah. And I said, oh, okay, I think we have the perfect guest mm. for this conversation. You know, people wonder why we bring certain topics to ways. We don't just talk because we feel like talking. We believe that um, with the right information, lives will be transformed. Mm -hmm. And that's why we're here. So we're not just here because we feel like talking on TV. Mm -hmm. uh, and I've seen, I mean, like Uti rightly said, I've seen how, like, literally, just mm -hmm. an introduction yeah. Yeah. takes you to, like, levels you never thought you would ever get to. And it is happening every day by yeah. the minute. So really, if, if you understand the power that this, um, what was it called, networking wields, you will not, you will not take it lightly anymore. And you'll be very deliberate about how you take your everyday um, events, meetings, or whatever, you know. But I think a lot of people still struggle, right? Um, so I, I would ask, right, is it possible, first of all, to build a very, very strong network? Well, thank you so much, Owa. Thank you so much. Nice to be here with you guys again. I think very importantly so is that a network that you would build is very possible. I am a product of strong networks. I tell people that everything I am, all I have done till date, over the last 19, going to 20 years this year now, would be on the premise of strong networks. Mm. But one of the things that many people tend to forget is that, and which you spoke about, was most of the time, we are not prepared when opportunities open up. So people are not ready to be value-adding when a door opens. And then secondly, many times we are always from the perspective of what to get, not what to give. And mo most of the high net worth individuals I've met all got connected with me by virtue of what, what I you had. were given. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So the very first point of call was what I had to offer. So then they were like, oh, sorry, guys. Yeah. And then the door opens. So there is we lost the sense of altruism yeah. where you want to do something just because. Because there are people you will be friends with that 10 years there will be nothing you get from them. Mm. But they continue to be um, people that you keep dealing with. So you're doing it not because you just want to get something in return, but you're doing it because you know it's a valuable relationship. Mm. You don't know where the door will open. You know, I, mean, I have had to be through a particular relationship. My mentor, was purely a spiritual network, my mm. pastor and myself. And that went on for close to 12 years, just teaching, guiding, and then boom, you are such a brilliant guy. I think there's so much more you can do. Oh yes, I can do so much more. And that, like you said, the rest is history. It's so it's possible to build a strong network, but you must be yourself, a strong connection. Mm -hmm. Mm. So you yourself, because a network is two-way. It's a two-way yeah. street. So you have a connection that terminates in another connection. That is what a network is. Mm -hmm. So there's a point to point to point. So are you a strong point? So that if a, if a line is drawn between you and someone else, they're like, oh, this is the real deal. Mm -hmm. That's the question we must yeah. ask ourselves. Yeah. And in these days of social media, everybody's, else, everybody's heads are bowed. Can we raise the head up again? Mm -hmm. Can we raise the head up again? Because we all hide behind the people. As in, it's terrible. We hide. So with the, the, real, the real human connections, mm -hmm. almost there. we saw ourselves and we hadn't seen it mm -hmm. before. Yes, before. Yes. And it was really mm -hmm. like, all oh, like we had, like we never disconnected. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people are having their head bowed. But they don't look enough anymore. Mm -hmm. They don't even know what's happening around us. In fact, I was watching a video, Pastor Akilami. Um, God, God, no, no, yeah. let me posted the video just to allude to what you just said of a young boy that saved the entire school bus. Oh, yeah, 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 you yeah. know, yeah. because he was the only one without a phone yes. because yes. he was he was present, yes. right? Mm -hmm. So it's very it's, it's you know, so that means I, I try to say that it's rude that when you go into events because 
you know? But that's what happens mm. at events, right? And, mm. and we were just talking about that over the weekend. Like, people places? come in, and, and I think that's also some of the reasons why I don't enjoy the whole Owambe movement. Mm. Because people just come in. After you've taken all the pictures, yeah. you eat, then... you bound down, yeah. Then you hear the song, you, you go, down, bum, bum, and then it's back again. down to it. But I like the fact that we're, we're talking technology, because I also think that it being used the right way, technology can actually help you expand your network. Absolutely. Um, I'll give an example with LinkedIn. I work in customer experience. Mm. Deliberately being able to connect with, you know, customer experience leaders from across the world. Sites like, you know, LinkedIn and things okay. like that have given you that ability. But I, if we're talking about, and I think that when you talk about networking from people who are sort of midway or at the pinnacle of their careers, mm. it seems a bit easy. But I wanted, I wanted to ask a question that starts from the ground. Absolutely. Up. A lot of young people want to start building their networks. You know, conversations like this with them, they go, I have nothing of value to offer. Mm. And I always say, no, you have something to Absolutely. offer. Have you had a conversation with this person and think, how can I add value to this person? So what would your advice be to those young people who are saying, how do I add value when I don't even think I have anything to give you? You hit, you hit something on the head here because my, my last EA, who's now gone on to be you know, a tech guy, they call him tech bro now. He's gone on to become a tech bro. He, do you know how he connected with me? Mm. He came to my, my IG DM and said, sir, I have got, I've done your page audit and I see there's a whole lot I can do for you. I've never met him before. He, then he was even in Akure, Ondo State. He gave me my DM. I mean, others have said, please mentor me. Please guide me. Please lead me. He came to my DM and said, I have gone through your page. I've done an audit of your page. I believe that at that time, I think I had maybe like 1,000 followers or I was following, I mean, I can't remember. And he said, I know what to do. I know how to rebrand your... And grow your page. And not just grow my page. I know how to re repackage you. That was mm -hmm. what he said. I know what to do. And I can tell you that I will take your page from one to 5,000 mm -hmm. in that one year period. Mm -hmm. But I would not buy a single follower. That caught my attention. Mm -hmm. He's young. I mean, at the time he buzzed me, he was like 21 He's young, so, and he was in Akure, Ondo State, not even in Lagos. Mm -hmm. I said, you know what, meet me on Monday morning. That was on Saturday. He took a bus down. Wow. The rest, like they say, is history. history. So from some guy who was there and just, you know, bumping around, I bought him a phone, just do what you want to do. And he was created a new logo for my brand, started doing podcasts, started doing videos. Started, I mean, he literally was with me everywhere for no cost. Hmm. But I said, I can't have you working with me at no cost. Mm -hmm. Put him on the company's payroll as my EA. Mm. So he went with me to every meeting. Mm -hmm. He sat through. He was like, I can, start, I can start doing your slides. I do my slides myself. He said, I can do your slides. I'm good at it. I learned Canva. I bought him the premium Canva. From there, he started learning UI UX. Okay. So when I say there's value adding, I mean value it. It, it from the very bottom. Mm. So the question again is, are you a person of value? Mm. What do you really have with you right now that you can offer? And networking is three ways. So you have those above you, those at your level, and you have those, in quote, beneath you. Absolutely. Because the people that I roll with the most now are those who are way younger than I am. And I have people who are way older than I am. Both those in my, mid, my, my level are like very few. But those, because I have to tell them, you guys know that the future of the world is you people knowing what to do per time. Right. So you must, and your, your network must also cut across everything. Your spiritual network, mm -hmm. emotional network, social network, professional and career network. You can't just sit and say, oh, it's only professional. Because mm -hmm. there will be times where you cannot break some doors professionally. Oh, Let me say absolutely. again and again. <laughs> it will be that, hey, guys, so um, there's something. and Oh, don't worry. I'll I, I put a call through. And you do not know, see, let me say it again, I say it again to the camera. You do not know where your next big deal is coming from. Mm. So don't block yourself in and say, oh, this is the place it's coming from. Ah, this person, ah, who, who are well, those? How do you know people that <laughs> just, just, I'm in church, I'm in church, I'm in church. He yeah. doesn't run that way. The funniest, come part, to the funniest part is that even in church, <laughs> yeah. there are people that come into church and they hear the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, they are out. No, mm. going, no, no, I'm going too far. <laughs> <laughs> the minute the pastor finishes yeah. preaching and he's walking out, they don't wait for the grace, they don't wait for better. They're out. They're out. And, yeah. I, and I see those people all the time and I wonder. 
How do like, you want to break into some circles? What do you want to come to church to do? Because mm. the very idea of church is fellowship, is community, it's yeah. all of that. So you, yeah. you have to do that to get the best from it. You know what? Let's go on a break. When we come back from that break, <laughs> <laughs> I want to see how to move to the next level. Because I have things that I'm looking for right now. <laughs> Stay with us. We'll be right oh. back. All right, thanks for staying with us. <laughs> I didn't know that we we're already live. All right, so if you just tuned in, I see that we're just in behind cameras, right? Uh, we're discussing building a next level network with Ayola Jolayami. Now, please, let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation, send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 01 8038 You can also tweet at us at Wish or Africa One with the hashtag Wish Show. All right, so I mean, uh, th this conversation is at all levels, right? Um, I like the fact that we are actually hitting the nail, you know, where it's where it would make most impact, which is, you know, understanding. I always say this to my kids, right? Um, don't chase after money, chase after value. If you make yourself very valuable, right, you'll be so. Money will come. Do you understand? Absolutely. Money follows in the direction of value. Because it's called currency. Yeah, oh. but the challenge I have now. The crop of people that even the people you employ mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and all of that, everybody is just all about. So how do we even start to correct the mindset? Because look at what you said. I've had so many people DM me, oh, this, this, that. <laughs> I mean, she, she brought somebody to my life that I, I always call her my guardian angel, Omolola. <laughs> you know, Omolola has made life easy, easy. for me. Yeah. Yeah. Omolola is not working for me because I'm paying her $1 million. Absolutely. Do you understand? Is somebody, first of all, that she saw that this is where she can come in, this is where I need to be of help. And she's gone on to do a lot of good things. We, I'm seeing a lot of growth, great things happening yeah. right for her. But you see, you try to tell young people these things these days, right? And it's almost like you don't understand, you know, and the country is hard, mm. this is this, and you know, and you just tend to water down. So by the time the person talks to you, like after like five minutes, you want to leave, you know, because you're not, you're not even yeah. yeah, you're not on that frequency, right? So how do we start to build, like, like build that mindset where we're thinking value, yeah. so that when we get that value, it is is a no brainer. Every other thing will happen. The growth will happen. Every other thing will happen. Okay, so you know, there's this saying that they say the, the, the young people have a short a short attention span. I think it's a lie. It's just interests that Differ. varies mm. or differs. So I think the first thing we need to start doing consciously is instilling in young people the thoughts around building themselves and not looking for money or mm. quick, quick wins like they call them. Once you're out, just give yourself a year. Like I tell folk, most of the guys that are under my mentoring, I say, just give yourself one year. Lock yourself out of circulation, in quotes. Stop trying to chase stuff. One year, build yourself. You know you want to be like what? Mm -hmm. Right, we want to be of value to Ua. What does Ua do? She does this, 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 this. I build my skill set that I know that if I'm going to go into Ua's DM, I would literally be almost irresistible mm -hmm. to her. That is the first thing first. And then, more often than not, not the, it won't be the first network that will give you a bump. But that first network, if you have a chance of making the right impression, that first network will open up another network. Mm -hmm. Because when you make a right impression and someone says, oh, I need someone to do... I mean, I've had to be there. Where some, I did a job for someone. And the other person said to that person, said, oh, you know, people have been disappointing in this particular task again and again. He said, look no further. I have the right the person. Mm -hmm. So the first one wasn't the big deal. The second one was the bumper deal. Oh, my God. Because the person who referred me gave me a leverage to negotiate premium naira, yeah. premium mm -hmm. dollars. You get my point? So we must first instill on people, just do your, just bury your head in work. Secondly, we must stop putting money first. It ah. is becoming a plague. And it's it's a hard. pandemic on its own. It's hard. And, and I'll tell you why. There's a subtle, even from very high and mighty, there's a subtle peer pressure that has crept in and become a, it's been woven into our fabric that nobody is ready to take patience as a virtue anymore. Yeah. So I get into a circle, and the next thing I'm looking for is who, who I will hit, in mm. quotes. Who will become... And we don't want to build communities. We don't want to build emotional connections 
anymore. We just want to quickly get so we are no more. Get. They're very transactional. Let me, mm. let me hear the name That's of the head. word. Yeah. We're very transactional. Mm. So what do I get from you? How do I get it from you? How fast can I get it from you? And the moment it does not come, the interest wanes. Mm. We withdraw yeah. to the next person again. So we must start changing the narratives immediately from now to help young people, even those in our own fire ballet like that. Say, <laughs> calm, calm down. down. <laughs> it would happen. There are things that we've chased years and when it does come through eventually, you know that it was because the person, you must build trust. Mm. You must build the camaraderie that comes with constant contact. You mm. can't breeze in today. You're out for the next four months and you say, oh, I just stopped by to check up on you again. And then I'm off again the next seven months. Mm. And I'm saying that we will have that kind of... I won't see you because I don't even know what you have to offer. Mm. Which is why you see people joining clubs like Eco Eco. Yeah, yeah, I was going to ask. Yeah. Tennis club. I was just going to ask because somebody has been terrorizing me. Well, you have to get... Oh, believe yeah. me, it is the real deal. And I would explain to you, a lot of people have, you know, criminalized or bastardized the thought of being in societies or clubs mm -hmm. because they feel, they think around, oh, it's um, you know, the stuff that are bad that happened there. But key... That's, what, that's the foundation the, of it in the, our own cultural yes, context. Yeah. The key place is the place of building trust mm. and community of value adders, mm. as it were. Mm. I know that this is what I have to offer. I'm in this circle. It will first come to you before it goes anywhere else. Same thing mm. with church, same thing with mosques, yeah. same thing with associations. Yeah. I, I was saying to a few guys, I said, in my church where I, where I worship and also pastor, I have people that when they're getting married, even planner is in the church. <laughs> oh, yeah, because this, it's a community. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because we must keep the money within. Because it's a community, it becomes a circular economy. Mm. Event planner, church member, decorator, church, planner, church member, small shops, church member, videographer. Mm -hmm. church. I'm not joking. As in, it has happened. This fashion designer for the yeah, bride, for church the member, bride. suits, church member. <laughs> Why? Because you've created a system by which everybody's job is known, and you've built trust. trust. Mm. And not just trust, the competence in each person is glaring for all to see. Mm. So you can't say you are, you are, you are, you are mediocre mm. and you're in a network and you expect people to keep no. giving you. Mm. It would not happen. Not so happen. that's why I said bury yourself. And build, build competence. Build competence build and it. value. Build it. Absolutely. And be a person of trust that I can say, go and do this. And I'm sure, without an iota of doubt, that you would not go there and misrepresent me. Mm. Because what a network is, that's how fickle it is. A network means that if you are here and there's a breach here, this person that was here that I connected you with, mm. I can sever that whole relationship because of your misbehavior. Mm. Mm. Absolutely. I'm telling mm. you. Absolutely. So that's why yes, it's so fickle. And that's why, it's and that's why people protect Thank their network. Thank you very much. You, you protect your network. But I, I like the fact that you said that because the truth of it is there are different routes. You know, we've talked about the young people. Um, and we've talked about, you know, you have people about, yeah. but there are different routes to building your network. Absolutely. So I like, for me, actually, I like being the connector. Mm. And I, I sometimes feel like that's the most powerful because every time you connect somebody that does a good job, the connector and the connectee <laughs> are both grateful, <laughs> right? So my currency has gone Absolutely. up in both of their Absolutely. eyes. Yeah. But I always have that goal. You know, when people are talking and it's always, oh, I have this problem. I'm like, oh, I have a guy. Mm. I have a guy. And I, when you live in Nigeria, particularly in Lagos, you have mm. to have a guy for everything. Like the minute you have a problem, I'm like, no, I have a guy. I have a guy. Now, people who struggle, because let's be honest, a lot of us want to have this currency, this mm. capital. Mm. We want to have huge networks. But people still struggle. All these things we're talking about, value and all this, oh, well and good. Somebody's watching. <laughs> that is still like, this is where I'm speaking German English. They still don't know what it means. But the fact is, if you think about somebody who has done a good job for you, even if it's a painter, even mm. if it's a carpenter, and somebody tomorrow comes to you and says, and the minute you're able to introduce that person and you make sure that person does a good job, your network has just expanded. Absolutely. And it's sort of an exponential, multi level marketing almost type of mm. thing. You're building that pyramid, mm -hmm. right, as you go. But today, the people who I believe struggle the most, I think the young guys just think, I don't know if what, I have. Yeah. The people at the top are like, everybody's coming for me. Mm -hmm. But the people in the middle, mm -hmm. right, they're sort of the real people who struggle because I've realized now somewhere in the middle that I need to have a network. Mm -hmm. 
I'm not sure that I believe it will work for me because that's where I started. I'm, I'm speaking mm. about the way my own journey went. Yeah. I'm not sure if it's going to work for me. But then I try once. I say, okay, this can open a door, that can open a door. Where do those kind of people um, start? Not necessarily, because I may already be in a work environment. Okay. I may be a church environment. I, I may be in all those different environments. But how do I actually begin to connect with people? People don't know how to start those conversations. Like mm. I meet Uwa today. I don't want to say, Uwa, mentor me or mm. uh, give me this. Mm. How can I? It's just maybe giving a picture of, hello, how are you? Yeah. Building rock. Your elevator just speech. Give, ex uh, the, so the, the, there are conversation <laughs> starters. Mm. Yeah. I, I'll, I'll put it that way. So maybe not an elevator, elevator pitch per se, but there are conversation starters. Mm. And which is where first thing first is from the area of interests, yeah. right? So there might be common interests, common goals, you know, love for sports, love for or, or current affairs, politics. They are, they are communication starters. And sometimes for me, what has happened for me more often when I'm out of the country, because they are in a different environment, mm -hmm. is when I'm going in, I read up on the current affairs of that country mm -hmm. before I go in. So I'm in the train or I'm at the bus station or somewhere or maybe even in the subway and I'm like they're having a conversation and I just laugh. That's it. I've opened up that. I just mm. laugh to what they're saying. Oh, you're listening. Oh yeah, such a life. Mm. And then bam, we start. I'm, I'm naturally an introvert. Mm. So it's, you're speaking to the person who can speak to the people who are the biggest, uh, those in the biggest dilemma. I'm naturally an introvert. I'm very to myself. So I ask myself and I said, what do I need first? What are the interests? So you read up on, let's say you go to a country, read up on what is happening, current affairs. You, if you're going to see a group of people, what do they do, really? Mm. You go to a sports group. It's, it's wrong to get to a space. Someone says, my name is X. And then you're seeing them tomorrow. I and you just can't name. remember their name. Huh. So, and I'm saying that because, except you are just saying, I do not I'm want to. <laughs> because you, you literally have to tell me your name three, three times or fine, four times. Great, so it registers in but my the head. point is, one of the things that I do, and I, I think everybody on watching this has to try to learn to do this. I take a picture with you when I'm going, when I'm saving your number, I save your picture with that number. On, with that number. Awesome. Oh, yeah. okay. The, so, the I, other <laughs> technique that I use is I send you a text message straight away. Yeah. So when I meet you, I get your number. As soon as I get your number, mm -hmm. I send you a message. Oh, hi, this is Uti. Yeah. We met. And, and, yeah. so, I, I, so that helps to create a, a level of rapport. Mm. And also, you must make conscious efforts to make the right impression in your first contact. Mm -hmm. Learn to have a firm handshake. Mm. Don't go hugging everybody. Some people just don't want to be touched. Ew. So... <laughs> <laughs> so, so it's, it's just the little... So sometimes we, we, we think about them mm. as big deals. But it's the little things. Find out the interests of the places you're going to. I'm going for a concert. Who are those who are performing? Mm. Who are the kind of people that come for such concert? What mm. do I need to wear? How do mm. I need to look? How do I need to smell? Look at all those little details. And it's not, it doesn't cost much to be intentional yeah. about those things. It doesn't cost much. Mm. It doesn't cost much. Yeah. And then when you make a contact, don't collect a card and drop it in your... Uh, your diary or your rule that you just ignore that, oh, it's gone. And then you say, oh, I, I got a card. It's not about getting card. It's about getting a contact. Mm. Establishing contact. a contact. Not just yeah. getting a card, but establish a contact and service it. Service mm. it. It takes intention. So we are buried in our phone. The question, you say technology, for instance. I have WhatsApp or whatever it is that you use. The question is, when you go on those platforms or those medium you're probably talking to the familiar. Mm. So we are buried in, you're catching up on gist. What is happening in your alumni group? You don't even know who is there. Mm. Some people are you know, out of university, they go to Harvard and all that. They have no clue what's happening there. Mm. They go to even the you know, Nigerian universities. Until your colleague now becomes a governor. Hi. He doesn't say, hi. <laughs> so, so the question now is, why should he answer you mm. when he does not have any form of association. Relationship. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm. The so let's important. cease being transactional. In this season where people are becoming governors. Absolutely. And let's cease being transactional. transactional let's start being relational. relational. Yeah. Build the networks. Build it. Mm. Invest. Because the person you're saying, I mean, I finished from university about 20 years ago. And the people that finished with me then, some of them are already CEOs of major firms. Mm. There are some I cannot call. You know why? I didn't service them. Hmm. There are some that 
I can walk into their offices without an appointment. You know why? I service them. Mm -hmm. So it's two ends of the pole. The question is, which end of the pole are you gravitating mm -hmm. towards? Mm -hmm. So you can be in an association and just be dormant there. You're there like you're not there. You can pay 10 million to join a Koi Koi club. That's my problem. And then you... I can be, you can, and that money can go to waste. I'm, I'm not doing anything with it. No, when I hear you speak now, <laughs> I'm so guilty of that. Very, very the guilty. one is where I'm guilty. Like, I mean, I haven't left that group here just because if I leave, people will chat. They, yeah. they, no, I actually left. They brought me back. Yeah, but when we had our anniversary, my school turned 40 last year. Mm. And, you know, I was shocked. So my friend forced me <laughs> to onto comment. the planning committee. And then when they started calling names, like, this what? person this was X, Y, Z. This person, I'm like, yeah. Yeah. what now? Yeah. Who now? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. So you realize that actually I've been missing out because these are people that you actually now have a direct connection to. Absolutely. I can reach out to you and say, oh, I went to Navy. We can catch up. We can gist. We you can, can, you know. Say that again. And that's it. And I just thought, you know what? The networks are everywhere. Yeah. And the one word that I was looking for, which you mentioned, is the intentionality yeah, of it. Absolutely. If mm -hmm. we take nothing else away from this conversation, is that we be intentional about it. But I'm not, I was going to ask a question, but I'm, uh, a viewer has sent in this question, and it says, what are some of the strategies for following up, which I think you've addressed, yes. and staying in touch with contacts after an initial meeting or networking event? So you've given us some tips already. Take okay. a picture, save it. Yeah, save it. Send a text message, to say service yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Um, anything else you want to add? The other thing I like, to also, I like to also guide people on doing when you're scheduling mm -hmm. a meeting with someone. Let's, so let's say you've gone ahead to check and you agree that this person, you can add value to them, and you want to then, you've done a, a few cold calls, I would say, or warm calls, because it's not more cold because you've met them before. Mm -hmm. But let's even take a cold call, for instance. You've gone ahead to do your, do your research, and you want to connect with the person. Go, don't say, hello, sir, and you're waiting for a response. Please, stop it. <laughs> right, stop it. Hello, sir, how are you, sir? How's your family? How's your mother? How's your father? And then you wait. No, no, no. I mean, I'm, Just, these are things that happen yeah, every day. Every day. You get it a lot. <laughs> so <laughs> I get it. So if you just say hi, Uwa, then I'm wondering like, What okay. next, what right? Next? So can you just, in the same <laughs> breath, go ahead and drop States what you, what you what need. And then yeah. you close that conversation. When the person responds to you and say, oh, great, I'd like to meet. Here is where the catch really is. Can we meet on Friday? Preferably at 2 p.m. Does that work? You've given yourself a shot at them responding with a firm response. Hmm. So I've said, can we meet Friday, say 2 p.m. at a, a preferred location you have? When the person will be responding back to you, I can guarantee you 90% of the time, they will say, oh, sorry, Friday doesn't work for me. Can we do Monday 4 p.m.? Mm. Which was the original Which plan. Was, thank you. <laughs> All you wanted was... Give us a definite date. date. So a you've, create, the you've created... Mm. Mm. You just took the word from me. You just, you just you got your foot mm. at the door. Mm. And when you yeah. get in there, please start... I'm giving you stepwise, right? From meeting the person to then making the impression. Mm. When you get in there, I know that for some of us, we get very starstruck, awestruck. Something hits us yeah, and we just feel like, you know, ah, I'm nervous. Take a breath. Just mm. catch your breath. And if possible, rehearse what you would say in that place before you get there. Mm. So you are not caught off guard. Because mm -hmm. sometimes some questions just throw you off and you are blank. Right? And please don't be too afraid to make mistakes. Sometimes you can laugh at yourself even in front of a new person. Yep. It eases the pressure and the tension in the room. Mm. So, and then when you're out of there, one of the things that you mentioned that I do all the time, whether I meet you today or tomorrow, is once I'm stepping out of the room, it was nice meeting you. Thank you for such a great conversation. I look forward to more engagement in the future. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> so I think it's very important to do that. So whether it's business, whether it's religious, whether it's social, whether it's emotional, you must learn to build that sort of... Relationship. Let them, let them anticipate your coming. Let mm. them look forward to you yeah. coming the next time. Okay, so good evening, my dear beautiful sisters. What are you saying? Building a next level network. Building a next level network is very key to a business enterprise because it builds it up. Your guest made mention of possibility of building a next level network and having a personal connection, which is strong, powerful, and key. He also said we need um, to recognize our value and said that there are three categories of people so Daniel helps us to sum up our... Okay. <laughs> it says there are three categories of people that are above you, same level, and beneath you, which is correct. My dear beautiful sister, Uti said, joining two parties 
together for solution to build a strong network. Uti, you look very beautiful. Good evening. Thank you. Uh, seeing you makes my day. Thank you, Daniel. <laughs> Thank you, Daniel. We like to summarize our messages. <laughs> you know, we don't ignore That's so good. So our good. messages. So but, good. I mean, if you had one final thing to say to anyone that is listening, right, um, how, how, um, how, do I, how, how would you say um, the approach mm. to networking should be going forward, okay. right? Would you be aggressive? Would you be, you know, because there's yeah. difference between aggressive and intentionality. Sometimes yeah. when you're like, mm -mm. people just coming at you like, so, yeah. I want something so, from you. So, something so, from you. so persistence is not pestering. Mm. So let's, let's hold that, you know, like uh, with our mm -hmm. okay, persistence really? is not pestering. Okay. So a lot of people pester people, mm. not that they are persistent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you must, you must be, be able to be, differentiate yes. that. So I reach out to you, and I, and it's happened to me a couple of times. I reach out to you, you you say, oh, I'll see you next week. And then I say, oh, just a reminder that we're supposed to see next week. You haven't confirmed mm -hmm. date and time. And the person responds, oh, I'm so sorry, it's been a busy schedule. Can we reschedule? Mm -hmm. Now, the person has given you a clue or a cue to keep the contact going. Mm -hmm. Now, when the person reads your message and doesn't respond, you send a second, a third, a fourth. At that point, you should take a break. Mm. Because it means the person probably does not see value in what you have to say, or mm. they are just busy at that time. Taking a break is not cutting off completely. So you give maybe like a week or two weeks, and then you're back to say, I'm circling back with you on this particular thing. Or just at that point, you might need to back. Just say hello. Just, 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 back, just, just checking on you and making sure all, you're good. That's all. Mm. Is everything all right? I mean, I've sent a few. I mean, are you all right? Is everything well? Are you fine health-wise? And, and then someone responds and says, oh, I've been down. Hmm. in the hospital and you must at that point be empathetic Pathetic. and Absolutely. don't go hitting your point again at that point yeah. <laughs> so you don't say oh sorry oh no well get well soon so i'm trying to so ask I'm you, to you. <laughs> <laughs> on that note if i catch you do that i'll, I'll bring kaboko for you empathetic Apathy. draw back a bit mm. and just, just show apply concern. emotional intelligence and show some concern Absolutely. and you know for what you just spoke about emotional intelligence you know there are two sides to it mm. before you talk about self i mean people management there's a self-awareness self. and mm. self-management mm -hmm. there's a people awareness and people management so mm. you must first be aware mm. before you start managing people be aware so it's yeah. important that we don't just um, you know absolutely create, yeah and we, well, I'm telling you, we are, we are just in time, girl. Sometimes. I'm going to fly. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank, Thank you so much. much. We have to so be, now you Absolutely. have to be friend of the house no, regularly. I'm, no, you're yeah, friend yeah. of the house. You just now need to make, make it regular. Make it regular. I'm the team. I'm the team. I'm the team. I'm the team. Follow us across all our social media <laughs> handles. Remember, you can like, share, invite your families and friends to watch and follow the conversation. Now, if you missed our quote for today, here it is again. Um, it says, he, networking is not about just connecting people. It is about connecting people with people, people with ideas, and people with opportunities. Absolutely. Um, go out today, be intentional about, you know, building the right network for and your next level of growth. Them. Yes, and service them, build relationships. Yep. Thank you so much. We Thank had a fantastic so conversation. Thank you so much. Everyone. See you Monday. Yeah. <laughs>